Hi and welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. Today we're going to talk about resistance and more particularly flowing resistance or flowing through resistance into resistance in a circle of resistance. So I think if we, we're always going to come across resistance, you know, if we're um, pushing the boundaries of what we know, trying new things, coming across resistance is a natural part of that. You know, if we've never done something before, if our horse has never done something before, there's going to be a certain amount of resistance <laughs> in pushing through something new. It's uncomfortable, it's difficult, we're unsure, don't really know what to do. And I think by practicing that, it's so important we develop um, resilience, don't we? to be able to more and more deal with that resistance if we allow it to flow and see that it is resilience, which is an essential practice to, <laughs> to get to that place. And I think also um, for our horse, um, it's a question of trust, isn't it? As we go developing in ourselves the ability to read our horse and notice the resistance coming up, and, and what we should do about that, you know? And the only way to learn it is to practice. So if it's some kind of resistance, depending on the horse and the situation, sometimes we can push through a bit, keep that moving and um, come out the other side. Other times, no, we have to circle back and come back to the previous stage, do something easier and then circle around, maybe not so far into it and keep coming back to that thing around and around until it becomes more um, doable <laughs> and easy to, easier to cope with. You know, so as we develop that ability in ourselves to get better at reading our horse, which we only do by doing it and getting it wrong, taking the feedback and learning to do it better. And then our horse goes developing trust in us you know that oh my goodness this human sees me they get me they do something to make life easier for me so <laughs> we allow that to flow you know it's only things are only bad if we're stuck in them so resistance is not a bad thing it's it's part of the process like I said it is um, a problem when we get stuck in it so physically for our horse, um, when there's resistance, you know, they're tense, which often means head up, tension, the same as we do in ourselves, <gasps> like this. <laughs> and then of course the back's hollow, they're using the wrong muscles. You know, when they relax, we get this correct shape of the neck, we get this softness under here. And then they are doing a healthy um, use and development of their muscles. So, um, working through that resistance, always circling back to try and find a way to um, to deal with that, you know, in a positive way that helps. And that's just that practice in whatever little thing it is, you know, that um, we are never scared to try new things and practice. It's the only way we're going to learn. Of course, we're going to get it wrong. We're human. So it's not to beat ourselves up. And this curiosity is the key. Hmm, that didn't work. How can we do it better next time, Umo? How can I be more helpful next time? Huh? <laughs> if only you could just tell me, it'd be so much easier. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us today. Keep tuning into the light and I look forward to see you next time.